Hello my friends from YouTube um, Again one more time With another vehicle Today we're gonna be reprogramming The transmission control module It's this little square Here And this is a 2008 Hummer H3 And the location for this module is right here as you can see I already installed uh, we're gonna put a used one it's already there and you're wondering why I changed this okay so um the reason I'm changing this is because I was getting a code The reason I'm changing that is because I was getting a code which is the P0717, the input speed sensor A, and it's telling me that I don't have signal. So uh, I went and checked all the powers in the module. As you can see, this is the transmission right here. That's the transmission, the inside electronics, and these cables right here are the connector. All of these cables right here, it's the single connector that goes to the transmission here. Okay, so we see the input speed sensor, which is located inside the transmission, obviously. You have to remove the transmission to get to it. can see pictures right here this is the transmission and the sensor is located right here this is just an example this is the actual sensor right here it's a three wire magnetic speed sensor story short I check this cable which is the signal to the computer and I checked it from the computer and it was fine there was there was there was a meaning that the cable was alive which had like 0 0.05 volts which is good but then I went to check this cable this is the dark blue and in the connector was different color it was it was blue with white there was actually two cables this one is a little bit light blue white but the other one it's very very dark so you you'll see it and this cable is the ground for the for the sensor in its ground signal um, the 12 volts you open the key and it's gonna output the signal to the computer I checked this cable on the computer and it was really dead like this one I back probe the connector and I have a diagram for that here Right here, that's the connector. I checked that, and I believe the pin for that is 40 units. The number three, yeah, in three shots. It's a that's a three for the signal. And for the ground, it's 40. right here dark blue white low reference that's the ground so I checked the cable and there was no ground and right now I'm gonna I already changed it and now I'm gonna pre-program it 
uh, support number. Okay, I have the vehicle right here, and to program the module, I'll be using the Maxisys J25 interface. And to program this module, you need to go to the AC Delco website. To this website, and you're gonna pay forty dollars for each pin you use, and it gives you twenty-four months of access to program all the modules in the vehicle which is pretty damn good I have already paid and everything this is the program the interface we're gonna be using and don't forget to put your charger all the time since we're gonna reprogram replace and reprogram the ECU, ECU I'm gonna hit that and they updated the interfaces now is as J25 tool, it's a new update released. We hit next, and I have the already key on already, and it's gonna detect the tool in a, in a bit. We're gonna choose or choose or core, just a hammer. Okay, now here we're gonna select our devices, our drivers for each module interface. Mine it's the first one. It's the Maxi Flash Pro. Gonna hit continue and it's gonna activate. There we go. It's scanning the ECU computer to check the pin number. And that's the sort of number we're gonna use since we're just okay. We have an update for this, so we change the module. We're gonna hit transmission control module and we're gonna hit next. I already put that one in, in the car, so we hit next communicating with the module wait and we see it's there okay so we hit next and Okay, the programming is done, and when I had the module, the range sensor light was all the way here. So now that it finished, it came all the way here. So that means we have a successful programming, and now we erase our DTCs. continue with the same bin and that's it we're done that's how you program this module for this car which is pretty easy it's the same thing for almost all the modules in the car this program makes the programming so much easy for all the modules all right um I hope to you find this information helpful for you if you have any questions for this kind of problem for this code the p0717 I guess which is 
a problem with the input speed sensor it could be one thing it could be the sensor bad or it could be a wiring issue or it could be the transmission so always check your fuel level fuses check the cables that they're not damaged or bent and for last resort it's gonna be a computer issue but always do diagnostics first that's why you always take it to a mechanic hope you like this video hit like and subscribe and see you next time